It will go down automatically. No, exactly. It's just like clicking, it, yeah. yeah. I think we'll start with just uh, showing what we have for now. Uh, this is the learning reflection diary. Uh, let's see, prototype. So, first of all, uh, we have a list of goals we want to accomplish uh, while learning. Uh, this list will, uh, if you press them on, you will get another list. Uh, which is basically the goal divided into milestones, uh, which is like the period of milestones of reading program 101, making a level of. Uh, and if you click on one of those again, you will uh, get up, like, you will get up uh, a very basic, for now, but uh, a way to reflect on, for example, the time you spent. Uh, and then for our short note about uh, you can reflect on your time if how much uh, if you spend too much if you spend a little uh, and then you can find the next step. Uh, this is the basic prototype we have for this week. Oh yeah, that voice. Uh, yeah, voice. We have uh, con connected to the database, so it stores everything. Uh, the database is local for now, but you can easily make it. Uh, the internet, like a service. But yeah, that's the prototype, I guess. You can also add tasks and add goals. So these goals are uh, according to week or daily goals, or uh, how you are? The goals is basically kind of extract, ex <laughs> abstract for now. It's okay. uh, a goal you want to accomplish. Okay. So we have no defined unit of time or like length for each goal for now. Okay. And um, it's up to the user to divide their goal into. But when it will get too many? Uh, yeah. Then uh, how you are going to manage that? Uh, for now, we don't really have a plan for that. Okay. Uh, we're most likely going to test out the prototype to see what works. We need to kind of look into it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we made some some simple model how we understand the the, the project, mm -hmm. and uh, we thought about it as a, as kind of the grid of activity, mm -hmm. how you go from one activity to another, mm -hmm. and uh, we decided to 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 divide them into the the time aspect, the mm -hmm. achievement, interaction with others, and and feelings, mm -hmm. and in the in the three basic steps uh, for a record, it was this one with the where, when you could record the time spent and plan, yeah, uh, reflection then is planned to be an, an activity where you can see the results and 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 write some some notes about note of reflection. For this this uh, particular aspect, and at the end you will get some kind of reports and summary that will help you plan to do the action, and then at the end you can just go outside of the app to to, to actually uh, do the, the action, and then you can come back to the to the recording, and as we try to find out the what is this? I mean, app is feeling. Time achievement, interaction with others, and feelings, okay. and uh, record them. So you can, we thought that you can actually kind of navigate vertical and horizontal 
then if you we and we, we focus on this prototype on this part. Okay. So you you come into the to the goal that it's recorded. So it's kind of a part of the planning or or recording. Because actually it's like you go a little bit like this. You, you, you need to have the possibility to go from planning to, to recording and according to the to the to the basic of this, uh, uh, theory we, we read about a little bit that it depends on the user or the student or the uh, and, um, psychology it doesn't need to be starting with this this activity yes. some people start with uh, reflection some people start with planning some people start with Recording, mm -hmm. so we need to we need to think about how to jump into that into this uh, circle of activities, and we didn't want to make it too wide the uh, prototype just to yeah. just to just to just to try it how how would it look this like one. if we go this circle, focusing only on time spent and reflection on time spent and planning of time spent. Then it can so be this was this problem. Then we can. Then if it's accepted, then and, uh, 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 then we could make some similar parallel uh, uh, activities for the different aspects. Maybe they will need some 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 specific for aspect yeah. uh, that is not relevant from time perspective. Yeah. So, but that's 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 how we thought about uh, making this application in general. And as uh, as a uh, as Ben said, that uh, this is all local on the on the mobile app mm -hmm. uh, for now. Mm -hmm. With we storing this, this simple data with a very simple database, mm -hmm. just uh, just the goal that have uh, some subtasks mm -hmm. and some some basic information about about each one. Mm -hmm. So it would probably a little bit different. It was just for a prototype to. To store this data, but not not just a dummy uh, mm -hmm. data. So, um, everything about your team. How did you work? How did you communicate? And how did you distribute the workload, etc. Uh, well, we had uh, two people that had never used Tempest in before, so we decided that uh, they should really take the first trip. Studio, while the others had had the mobile course to lead in well, in the split the the development into our three parts, mm -hmm. and yeah, the, that's mainly how we work with the one person having the database, one person having the first menu, and one person having the second middle of the this uh, menu. Mm -hmm. And how did you manage the daily meeting? Did you do it daily or did uh, you do it daily? We had the uh, daily meeting on Discord. So okay. It was voice chat daily meeting. Okay. And we just went through what we had done and what we were planning to do next. So basically, you all work not at the same physical space no. separately, but uh, in contact with each other. Yeah. We have just one. Um, Meeting here on the campus in the beginning when mm -hmm. we uh, made ta task list issues uh, for the Jira and yeah, we would like to see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and then make this estimates yeah. and it might look a little bit uh, strange this chart because we made we managed to make this meeting on Friday. Okay. Then we then when we made Friday, it, which uh, the three days after the screen start, you see okay. it on the chart. Okay. Okay. Uh, so then it was uh, then when we and managed to. Days ago. Uh, so, so 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 then then we make this estimates and start the sprint after we made estimates yeah. in the in the in the, the previous day. Okay. So we didn't have uh, okay. this uh, this, uh, smooth. Ver this smooth line. And actually, we have like a node for yeah, the spring, and then just coming up the new tasks uh, three days after the spring start. Yeah, mm -hmm. you started three days no. later, but no. you put the day before. Yeah. So, right now, this is our burnout job. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's done. So, so this was the, this was the Friday meeting that yeah. we managed to to, to make okay. the make the estimates mm -hmm. and make the the, the project uh, prototype uh, awesome. uh, model. Yeah. Uh, how we would like to, to do and then then decided on the on the on the task who will take which one. So we try to 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 finish that one. Mm -hmm. a little bit. Did you achieve the lot in last two three days? Uh, to initially? It was like maybe two long tasks or two big tasks okay. that, that took yeah. actually the, all the, the time. Uh, we're also, seeing as we had two people who were going to focus on learning Android, uh, we could just give them one big task for learning Android. Mm -hmm. For, for, for the duration points, of the... For yeah. Yeah. Points, yeah. Each in the so, uh, okay, so you are including the learning as yes. a task as yeah. well? Yeah. 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 So far, we have included everything that takes time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. As, uh, that, that's okay. Yeah. Like how about your estimates? Uh, our estimates are kind of low right now. We could probably increase them, our story points. Yeah. As it depends on the tasks. Uh, yeah. I, th I think some of the programming tasks were actually easier and, yeah. and quicker done than we, than we thought was. at the beginning. Okay. Problem was that we started with a four hour story point. Yes. And some of the tasks didn't take four hours, but they can give them zero, so they have even one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they, they saw much bigger uh, the gap than they actually were. Okay. They were half a point or just a quarter of a point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we might increase like, how many story points we use per week. Yeah. Pro prob probably because now we are using like 25 yeah. and we thought about uh, uh, 25 story points for five people in the, in the uh, but, but it might be too much for uh, if we include uh, the meetings and, uh, and all the other stuff that are not here in the issues yeah. then, then it will probably go down to four story points if we are keeping this, uh, this for just for the tasks that are inside the Jira has issues, but we will we, we have to discuss a little bit mm -hmm. about this. One. So you could manage to do what you planned for this sprint. Uh, yeah, we have managed to do yes. everything. Yeah, some some small maybe uh, things that we could make better. Yeah, uh, uh, so it's not uh, it's not complete. Maybe it's not complete, but it's uh, finished. Yes. Um, it's yes. So there is a chance of improvement, you yeah. may open some of them. Okay. Uh, we will have to refactor some of the code at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But then, uh, yeah, the goal was to just uh, have a prototype, so yeah, we will manage to do that. Because we are not sure if it's going to be um, on the mobile application. Maybe it will be a desktop, and, and then it will be just to, to show how it could work. Yeah. On the on this, so we, we so that that the requirement is not sealed yet, whether it's a web app or whether it's a mobile app. No. Okay. But it was kind of a concept that it might be it might be easy for for everybody has a mobile, mobile yeah. so it could be nice to have a mobile app. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe if it will be too much reflection, too much diagrams to, yeah. to analyze, too much text to write, yeah. then the mobile A will not be that, uh, efficient. that efficient. And then we probably need then 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 the web application to yeah. to and maybe something to store the data safe, not just on the mobile. Because yes. now we don't consider any Security issues. You have it all on the privately mobile, on the phone. Privately yeah. on the phone. Uh, no login. No, you are already on your own device, and nobody else sharing. Yeah, exactly. So that influences the features that you might need. Yeah. Like if it's a standalone mobile app, then you have less certain features, and so on. But most time recording and time planning apps, they have a mobile thing because it's easy to record and to interact with the phone. But for reflection and for charts and so on. Uh, they usually have, yeah, exactly. This will, uh, this will be yeah. more desktop uh, yeah. efficient. Yeah, that's right. So they have some more richer charts and richer an analysis on the big screen. Uh, but yeah, it's sort of up to the product owner to sort of guide it, uh, I guess. Um, so what was hard? Like what, what troubles did you have in the first sprint? We didn't really have any 
have much trouble with the first thing. Um, our teamwork was fine. Um, the programming wasn't really that difficult for the basic prototype. Mm -hmm. so, but the design was probably the hardest part. It's kind of hard to figure out the best way to do this kind of app. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So do you have like a dedicated design person or are you trying to brainstorm all together how, how you deal with the design issues? Uh, so far we brainstorming mm -hmm. together. Um, that might change if this doesn't work out, but so far I think it does. Mm -hmm. And the actual like uh, small designs just decided by the person that did it. So there's no thought behind it. But Probably we will we will make we'll split the team if we are going really for this mobile and web application. So probably then then it will be kind of a nice way to do to 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 to, to divide the development team into to the, the mobile application for those who has most experience mm -hmm. and to, to do it more efficient and the web application and maybe some server backend for the, for the data mm -hmm. then it would probably be splitting a team like two and three or something mm -hmm. to, to, we will figure it out when we get to this point yeah. that we that we need to this this other application but okay but for now we are just uh, uh, trying to to work all together on this, mm -hmm. to, that everybody knows how it, how the con what the concept is and uh, and how would it work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some common understanding for that. So you're using project. branches in Git. Uh, so far, we worked on the main branch because we need a like we focus on the core product. Mm -hmm. So we haven't really branched out uh, much, but in the next sprint, we'll probably. Most most of it was like uh, actually three big uh, commits: yeah. uh, one for the one for the storing data and, and tasks for, for 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 getting data from the from the database, mm -hmm. uh, and one for activities and one for some kind of navigation. So it's, they were they could they could they could be, be got all together on, mm -hmm. the, on the on the git. So uh, probably we need to migrate migrate this repo because we. Uh, I really managed to 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 to, to put it uh, to synchronize it with Jira. So what so do what are you using? Uh, Bitbucket. Bitbucket. Bitbucket, and it doesn't synchronize with Jira. Uh, we're not sure if Luna has that. Okay. So you can you can stay after class, and I can can have a look. Okay. Yeah. Well, we try we used to, we try to use this uh, smart commits with the yep. uh, as Simon explained, but yeah, but it, it didn't update at Jira at all or something. Okay. So, so we, we need to do some manual work. So probably if it will be more, it will take more time. So then we need to put some story points. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, yeah, Jira and Bitbucket should work, but maybe the repo is not linked to the yeah. So I I can have a look. Yeah. Did you have any plan for the quality issues? I mean, how did you ensure the quality? Did you do some kind of activity or just who developed the chat and was finalized it? Or did you do some kind of peer review or anything? Uh, we haven't done any. Our main focus was just getting the prototype up and running. Uh, seeing as we might not use this code at all, we didn't really care so much for the quality. But after we refactor, we might start using quality assurance that we already did for something. Just, just using a, a, a normal everyday <laughs> programming, putting comments, uh, see on some issues when, when committing a code. So it's coming out some warning. So at least at, when it's stopped uh, about the, the this, this pure technical code quality, then then we get some warnings from the from the ED. So then then it is possible to, to get some 
some standards and we agreed how we should create and how we some some namespaces and this this kind of uh, agreement. So you all already have that. Yeah, right? yeah, but it was more like an informal. We haven't written any any standard uh, code standard uh, document mm -hmm. to do, but we agreed. So so how how we we should use them. So, but you are planning to have explicit quality ones, right, or standards? Probably it would be a nice uh, idea since it's. Uh, uh, it's a quite a big team, five people, for yeah. uh, for a for a for a for a school project, and then we need to to share and code review. So probably it will be a, a very good idea to have some standards so everybody understands more uh, before explaining it to them how it should work. So it could save us some time of preparing such an agreement. Yeah, there, there is this kind of illusion that uh, you're writing code which is like a throwaway code for, for just testing purposes and then 20 years later, you know, some programmers see the comments like, oh yeah, this is just a hack, don't use it in production and it ends up in Windows 10, you know. Uh, <laughs> so you always have to think of code quality even if it's just for prototype purposes. Uh, yes, we have that. Reused, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Um, so yeah. So what what do you what do you will you improve in the next sprint? So what do you will do differently? Start the sprint today, <laughs> so we get these estimates. Mm -hmm. Probably not not with the backwards day. Mm -hmm. So or maybe more ambitious uh, in terms of yeah, more tasks. A, a lot of our plan is that I'm planning the first thing, so we probably a lot more ambitious this mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Uh, no. so, I will increase our story points. Allocation, uh, so we can have more fine tuned issues. Yeah. Um, no, because we, we have some 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 big tasks that then issues that got like two three score points, and then we start dividing them in subtasks mm -hmm. just to, to, to commit parts of the task up. Yeah. And then it was like this, okay, we have only this main estimate for the task, but we didn't have this small, small, small estimates. So we're not actually sure how we should do it, uh, just divide it into subtask uh, in the beginning and put the, the estimates only to the subtask, not, not, mm -hmm. not to the main task. So probably it will, will be more, more adequate to, to do. But yeah, we, it was a little bit like not sure how it's going to end, how, how, how long time does it take and so we have some few multiple uh, commits as well. like a two three subtasks that were pushed up mm -hmm. together. That's also reflected in the estimation yeah. because uh, some of these are big tasks that are divided into subtasks that we only gave a big task like story points. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't actually reflect us doing subtasks, it's just sort of yeah. doing everything. So more granular yeah. probably is, is better. Um, yeah. We also want like the the guideline to show because we didn't get another shot. So it doesn't show like the line that we should follow. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure we show what happened. Oh, but uh, 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 can... that happens when you don't have any Yeah, because it started with, with zero yeah. or at the beginning of the sprint. Yeah. And then we gave estimates in the middle of the sprint. Yeah, exactly. So your, your diff line is like it's flat the line on the bottom. Flat, <laughs> because, because when we set the start sprint yeah. rate, there was no estimates yet. Yeah, that's right. So it's kind of, uh, uh, and probably we will have to think about some long, long-term tasks like this that we set up uh, four story points for two people to to get to learn mm -hmm. this Android Studio. Then it's kind of the yeah, uh, all almost the whole whole sprint and then the end. 
Yeah, exactly. It's going down. So, so you don't really uh, see a progress. You don't, you see, don't see a progress yeah. because it's it's not divided into into no. small subclass. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I made this hello world. I made this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so maybe. So maybe this should be should not be that a big task uh, that yeah. to get more than three score points. Yeah, that's right. An issue. So there is a potential, although you spend so much time, as you said, on planning, but there is still some potential for improvement in terms of planning the issues and subtask yeah. and uh, You're not really experienced And estimates as well. Yeah. Estimation as well. Yeah, yeah good. You're doing Java, right? Or Kotlin? Uh, yeah, Java. Mm. Okay. All right. So yep, it's fine. Good. Thank you. Okay, uh, so first about our backend, um, we started with uh, production code right away, uh, and we currently have two active um, branches or main stories, active at Git. Uh, this one is about um, the um, uh, users and Firebase. Uh, so currently, uh, this branch supports four um, endpoints which is create, update, uh, delete, and uh, get. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, we use uh, Firebase uh, to do users, and uh, currently the only uh, Golang support from uh, Google is the admin SDK, which doesn't support user authentication. So um, we figured out that um, this part of the backend is administrative only, so administrative tasks about users, and the front end uh, handles the authentication with Firebase. Um, yeah, um, that's it, basically. Um, we have uh, one main, like, on the script uh, in this feature, which, which is the user handler. So uh, the user handler takes care of its own routing and hand, uh, houses its own handlers and also the routines to Firebase. Uh, so it has one uh, context uh, object, which is the Firebase instance for a client session, and uh, the routes. Yeah. Um, uh, in the uh, backend team, we had uh, some issues that uh, Magic has in Project Go, so we had some discussions about Go during this sprint, uh, which we'll see a bit later. Um, yeah, uh, this is an active pull request as of now, so we have an uh, ongoing discussion about improvements, and mostly regarding uh, uh, what to um, print out in logins, etc. Kind of discussion on that. Basically, documentation. Yeah, make it easier to maintain the yeah. application. Yeah. So this being a pull request, it houses all of the unit tests and comments to be a full fresh thing kind of component. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, the second branch uh, is um, pilot building. So uh, this branch has only one endpoint, which is the loading of uh, the file. Mm -hmm. And the routing in this uh, component is completely different because Glide 3 got refactored with all, um, only having one handler uh, handling everything. Mm -hmm. Um, um, so this still has, um, yeah, the old format about uh, having the 
uh, kind of binding in main. Um, yeah, this basically just take, uh, takes in a file from a post request, uh, checks the file uh, extension, that being the RGC file, and then um, saves it um, to a subfolder for records with the UID, basically. So you have some kind of hierarchy. But um, this is a bit iffy as it is now because we don't know uh, where we're going to host it and uh, storage support from the hosting side. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's basically it uh, from the backend. Um, I mentioned that we have an uh, ongoing discussion and that's basically done in the pull request. So, yeah. Much like did a review and had some comments and, yeah, we sparred back. And yeah. as of now, it should be finished and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically the backend as it is now. Basically, one of us writes the code and the second one checks how it works. Yeah, so this is the is. fair review. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's also set up with Circle CI as it is of now. We mm -hmm. also did uh, code climate, but it isn't put into the check as of now. So okay. we can't kind of. Um, it's like, I think it would be right to say that you did code climate. I have some sonar cloud thing. Yeah. That checks things also. Yeah, so the but thing about um, Magic not knowing Go is really interesting. So we can have this discussion about best practices, and it's really useful for both me and I think you yeah. to a way of learning things about the programming yeah. language. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. given how we, I think programming would work, mm -hmm. is that we should document every single line of code and then and says that Go shouldn't have that. No. <laughs> and then we have a really nice discussion about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, Code Climate is nice that it's set up with Go Lint, Go Format, and all of the supplied Go tools. Mm -hmm. So we can actually check it. But, mm -hmm. like, uh, it is a bit iffy. So, <laughs> these are two different endpoints. And it's uh, I do the same thing on the three same lines. And it basically says I have to spend two hours to fix and refactor this. So, mm -hmm. You, uh, it, it gives a pinpoint to how your code is doing, but yeah, you have to use your own mind to decide what you want to fix. Yeah. And the nice thing about this is that I can actually say, I won't fix this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, should we do... Does it pick really only three lines? or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Well, well, Does uh, it complain only about the three lines, or is your code well, more... No, the, uh, yeah. And it also complains about some comment formatting. So basically, okay. this is a constant post for uh, containing the HTTP method post, the word. Mm -hmm. And it basically says that it should start with the const name, which is capital P and post. Mm -hmm. So it does check everything, but as of now, it seems healthy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You okay. can also see the individual file ratings. Um, but yeah. So you get a, a health check on each file as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, for example, REST user handler has a B because it has iffy comments and yeah. mm -hmm. and some repetition. Yeah. yeah. Uh, should we switch and do the front end, or should we do Jira first? We can switch back. Oh, we yeah, can you can. We can show Jira because there is basically nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So in uh, this just, sprint, just, we didn't actually finish any issues. Yeah. So we have yeah. a, a nasty burn down chart. And it's, uh, I don't think it's as much about uh, us for estimating as just team effort putting in the story points. Mm -hmm. So we went the route with uh, Marius's brother doing four hours per story point, kind of. Mm -hmm. So we uh, said to dedicate uh, one day per week per member. So that's eight story points per week. Mm -hmm. And since this was kind of a good sprint, we had eight story points on this. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yeah, Glide 3 is in uh, pull request and uh, in review. We should have an extra uh, kind of column, but we don't have it yet. So, it just stands mm -hmm. up in progress. Mm -hmm. um, and Glide 4 is done, but I have to refactor it to Glide 3's uh, wrapping methods. Uh, and you guys can yeah, talk about that specimen if you want to. So we, um, we divided, uh, we started with two, two issues, Glide 8 and, uh, and Glide 9, to um, 
that, in, that are in fact they are quite neat because we had to first do the, the basic routine at the app. So uh, for now the, the, the main routine is in light 8 uh, in separate range and uh, then the, the design of the, of the app started on light 9. So it's quite, it's quite messy but uh, actually the, the work is fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and we also have uh, Glide 5, which is blocked by Glide 4. So mm -hmm. this carries on to the next sprint and the finalizing of Glide uh, 4 and 3. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Git, we have uh, an organization, which is um, GlideRex. And GlideRex has two teams, but it isn't as useful since it isn't actually like a big open source project, mm -hmm. but on the least, uh, the uh, different team members are uh, separated into the different kind of teams, and each team has access to one repository. Mm -hmm. So, gliding tracks as an organization has uh, GT frontend and GT backend, mm -hmm. um, each with uh, their separate kind of like continuous integration checks and yeah, branches of mm -hmm. So that's the hierarchy of us. Basically. Um, Okay. Any questions about Jira before we switch? We will come back to this later. Yeah. yeah. Let's first okay. discuss. All right. So um. So for the front end, um, so I worked on the, the basic routing, the basic structure of the app with the authentication uh, with Firebase. So uh, that's actually the prototype right now. Um, so the goal here is to have a kind of menu. So the design is, the design is on another branch, so I can't show it to you right now. You haven't noticed them. Um, so the basic idea is that we have a um, a page for the for the map view for the track, and uh, and an upload page to to upload the track and uh, then view it on the map. Mm -hmm. So uh, those two pages can be accessed uh, until you you have replicated yourself. Mm -hmm. So uh, the authentication on the fire on fire is working. So yeah, so now I'm I'm signed in and uh, I have access to the, the map view map view page and I can. Page to upload, um, and I have there a simple form for, to upload from the file from the disk or to upload from the URL. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe in the next print, we will have linked that to, to the backend to take care of, of those files. Mm -hmm. and, and actually, uh, we also set up some, some tests to be pharma. So uh, for now, this is just the base. The base test uh, automatically created when we created the components uh, mm -hmm. in Angola, but um, we will be able to run more tests in the future to test how how the app is working. Mm -hmm. For my part, it's pretty much it. And also design. So we went with a simple design, so to have a page title, uh, because it's lighting, you have to add pictures somewhere, and it's too it's simple, too simple looking. And we have two huge buttons, one to upload tracks, one to view the map, and an additional one here to create your account in, in, in signing when you say, for example, you have this and you can add whatever you want. Then for my view, like making sure you have to sign in. Then you will be able to well to view your map and 
to view what you've done. So let's say you design it pretty simple, but we don't have to do much more because else it just be messy. And mm -hmm. So how how are you gonna pick the track to to view on the map? I to be on my view, I may have that this list of tracks. Yeah, you you need some sort of list or some sort of filter to to narrow down what you want to show by some metadata probably. So some sort of a filtering stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah sounds good. Yeah, we are also supposed to or are uh, suggested to make kind of a web, web scraper. So we could scrape for IPC files to populate the site. Yeah. Uh, so the site should contain like a massive amount of tracks. So we need some way of listing up with that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Um, so for the Angular, you have kind of a testing framework Skeleton. You don't yeah. have any kind of tests yet, but you have the default ones. Yeah. And for the backend, do you using testing as well? Yeah, we do. Yeah, so there are some tests. And yeah. so uh, Glide Three or the uh, user uh, branch has um, they, they uh, don't test the handlers as of now, but they test the Firebase functionality. So like not uh, for example create user page, but the create user routine has tests. So the way we do it is that we have um, an, um, a method mm -hmm. called uh, testing user manipulation. And within that test has a subroutine. Mm -hmm. So currently it has four or five subroutines testing the user manipulation. And it also have um, a test for uh, testing implementation of interfaces. So for example, the routing is a strict for Linux uh, router binder. Uh, which is an interface and has one routine, and mm -hmm. I want to check that user handler implements that routine. Mm -hmm. So that's one test. In the um, uh, Glide form, it also has some tests, and that's uh, mainly for uh, file extension checking and also the saving. So it also has some routines. Um, all going into you know, uh, libraries or anything. So it's really doesn't need an additional mocking library for doing such no. things. Yeah. And for code review, do you use any specific tool, or how do you do that? Well, we do it in the pull request. So, uh, um, master and develop is uh, protected. So they require one uh, code review, other peer review. Mm -hmm. And they also uh, need uh, the passing of Circle CI and that it is compatible with the branches trying to merge into. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's the restrictions on those branches. And we also have the same restrictions on front end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how is it between the front end and back end? Do same? Do you check it? Like, do you have some integration tests? Yeah. No, not no, yet, right? No, we, uh, not yet. Because yeah. we, we don't, no, we don't have any integration tests on it yet. Because the supported endpoints is uh, as small and also develop as no coding it yet. Mm -hmm. But I think when Glide 3 and Glide 4 rolls in, we'll try to either uh, yeah, we'll do some integration tests and end to end tests. Uh, yeah, end -to -end tests. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so one, one comment for the storage. It would be nice if you kind of architected in such a way that the storage is pluggable. So you currently have a, like a local file system which has some sort of interface to save and restore a file from a backend. But it would be nice if it's done modular in such a way that this interface can be implemented by, let's say, S3 on Amazon storage system that you can substitute the current one with something different, like network-based or something even more um, exotic. Uh, so then you just have a simple interface for storing and retrieving files by, yeah, by hash or by something like uniquely identifying the file, right? Yeah. Uh, so if you have kind of this interface, then your implementation, current implementation is just one po po potential implementation of it. And then this can be swapped or configured to use something else. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, both the, the storage component and also the user management component should be 
uh, interface and basically be by one implementation and do whatever you want. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. It's technical depth. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, looks good. Um, yeah, what what will you do differently in the next sprint? So we'll try to document maybe more uh, communication. Maybe try to communicate more. Yeah, so have, have more work together. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. non-daily meetings, mm -hmm. uh, and also yeah, just have to dedicate more effort into the project in the next sprint, and also yeah, communicate. So, so what? Because the, the way it, the way it works, we work in the back end, we talk Norwegian and English, they work in content, they talk French and English. <laughs> 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 it's just not yeah, yeah but, but like we were talking about the back end and commenting and stuff in Norwegian and private between each other. In same for us in yeah. French. And yeah. They 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 together too so they can go like talk yeah. together on social media. Yeah. Uh, due to when the sprint was started and uh, that it was like one and a half or one and two days, like weeks, uh, we only had one dedicated day to work, and that's Thursday, according to our group. Rules. So we had one day which we uh, could work, but with a longer sprint, we have more time to actually communicate and structure it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, those guys have overlaps and stuff, which yeah. takes a lot of time. So we have to use our working days uh, like efficient. And that's Thursday and some yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, can we see your one line chat again? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the main reason why it's like that is because uh, for my part I didn't know how to use Jira at all. So uh, actually, yeah, um, and I had some issues to configure with the smart commits to create set up the start of progress on the task. Yeah. That's yeah. why it's not synchronized with it. But yeah. now it works for you guys, right? The smart commits. For me at least, yes. Yeah. So there is I a delay, but it works. If you just uh, press the 2019 blind inference, you can see like the smart commits processing. Uh, if you go down. So our smart commits works mm -hmm. and they parse correctly. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, my main issue is that it isn't like documented in Jira well enough about the keywords. Yeah. Uh, so I missed some transition keys and stuff like that. I see. Uh, it's like in progress isn't start progress. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so, so I've learned to roll back commits and edit commit message. And okay. <laughs> But it basically works. But the problem with Julia and Maxime is that um, their uh, GitHub email doesn't correspond to the Jira email. And I see. People say that yeah. it failed the process because it can't find. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah. match. Yeah. yeah. So we have to look into that. I think we could just change the Jira email to whatever email we sent mm -hmm. from. And yeah. Because it's kind of arbitrary. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think we had that problem last year as well. I had that problem. Yeah. So yes. <laughs> Exactly. Well, yeah. Uh, since we didn't finish any issues, we have a pretty bad rundown chart, as yeah. you saw. Yeah. Uh, we try to make the when we say we are done with an issue, then it means we are done, mm -hmm. and it's done well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so like my pull requests have been in for four days because we are sparred back and forth. So it is. Yeah. Yeah. So but the po the point is to make sure that when we actually merge together into development and master. It works and it's mm -hmm. good, so we don't have to go back to yeah. it and seriously back to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially if the problem is documentation, and one month later we have no idea what it does what. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, sounds good. Uh, yeah. I don't know how long the next break will be. Will it be two weeks? It will be three weeks. It will be three weeks. Three we are going to meet on the 29th of October mm. next time. Yeah, okay. So then we will have a longer period to make sure we can finish the issues. Yeah. It's because, uh, also going to be easier because like, uh, the color lab for us three is going to be finished yeah. next week. Mm -hmm. the yeah. yeah, if it's three weeks, you can split it into two sprints. 
if you don't want yeah. the one long one, yeah. right? That you you can, possible. that's an option as well. We have it last year where students were actually doing weekly sprints, every yeah. time yeah. weekly sprints, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's up to you, like how you want to... It doesn't to, have to match with... It doesn't have to match, yeah, to match with the seminars. Yeah. And then you just report back on, you know, the sprints you had. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I also think that uh, when we uh, say one story point is four hours, mm. it makes it really hard to estimate sub issues. Yes. Because if you have one issue which you say is one or two story points, it's really hard to say when it has like six sub issues yeah. that this is 0 0.2 yeah. story points or something. So That's right. We might, um, might um, yeah, we'll change, change our and change the style of the Yeah, so we have to look into that because the sub issues aren't estimated. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just the way we solve it. We estimate the stories and we restrict the sub issues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't want the explosion of sub issues neither. You don't no. want every half an hour to be logged yeah. and co you know committed and documented. Like yeah. you don't want that no, neither. I mean, it's kind of yeah. like one issue ah. doesn't take half an hour because you have to factor in. Yeah, exactly. So there is some the unit, time. some unit like four hours or two hours, which kind of makes sense to keep documenting. Yeah. Yeah. If something is smaller than two hours, it's get merged with something bigger, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's up to you. Of course, you can play with it. There, Of course, there will be some uh, fuzziness. Not everything is very strict, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so a task which has, let's say, one story point, sometimes it's going to take two hours, sometimes it's going to take three hours. And that's OK, right? There, there is a bit of uh, inconsistency between translating the story points hardness in story points to hours of how long it took, right? And also some hardness can be done by one of you much faster than by the other, right? It's normal. Uh, what, it, what matters is that you have some sort of consistency as a team, that every sprint you're doing consistent amount of delivery, right? Uh, so you have to sort of find that, that translation for yourself, for your team. Uh, and that does change in time too a little bit right so if you started of the project having uh whatever let's say two hours per story point you will notice that after a few sprints you're you you, you are more more efficient and your story point doesn't take two hours anymore it takes like one hour on average right so there will be some change in those translations as well um so then you adjust, right? It, it's a tool, like you're using it and you're ad adjusting usage of it every time you, you, you use it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, I think, uh, or I consider it a part of the learning process of doing this project with story points and doing these things because I'm used to Kanban, which is a bit like the Wild West. So yeah. uh, for me, as you say, it's a learning curve to adjust the story points. Yeah. But it is nice to have kind of a metric of how much the team could in a week. Exactly. And that's kind of the main value of it for me at least. Yeah. That's right. And you sort of agree on how hard something is in story points as a team, yeah. not individually like, oh yeah, I can do it in two hours, therefore it's like one story point. No, no, no. You all discuss and you say, oh, it's kind of hard, like two story points. And that's it, right? Even though you can do it in half an hour, right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so one comment, uh, these guys are using kind of an automated build and code coverage and testing framework. You, you don't use anything like that yet. Do you think it would be useful for you to have something like this? Like Jenkins or Circle CI or something that, you know, every time you commit, it sort of ch checks that everything is still good, that doesn't raise any alarm flags. And it's sort of automated process. Uh, so it kind of improves your your teamwork and your process, uh, you, can, you can look into that uh, for the next or the following sprint. Especially if you start doing branches and you have some integration problems potentially. And especially if you do backend and, and mobile. Uh, so you have two sort of trees, two code bases to integrate. Yeah. OK? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Should we take some break? Yep. So, 10 minutes. Let's